Hello, in this video, we are going to talk about how to cleanse the data we uploaded in the last video. Point to be noted is that in the last video, we were able to upload machine learning customer data.csv, which can be downloaded from the Google Drive link in the description of the current video. Also, we were able to create a new experiment. We call it as BDCS machine learning experiment. And we were analyzing the data in which we found few blank missing values. This is the visualization area where we found some missing values. And now we are going to clear up, clean up the data a bit. Just to take a look at the file which we have downloaded, there is the file. And this data is for customers. Please understand this, that any holes, any missing values can be seen as holes uh, in the, the algorithm, the data which needs to be fed into training the models. So it's, it's a good practice to get rid of the data which is not fit into the model. For your understanding purposes, any data which is having at least two or more missing fields or values have been identified by customer ID starting with two. If any customer ID starting with 2000 or two is having some kind of missing values. And any customer ID starting with, this is just the makeup of the data, which help you to analyze, understand the data faster. This is all machine learning guys. So you have to be very, very familiar with the data. Gender, it has two values as I mentioned in the previous video, job, income. I'm assuming everybody in this data set is employed. So either he or she is self-employed or employed, income group, country, state, age, marital status, kids, and stuff. Let's, let's go back for experiment. And let's look at interestingly on country. There is only one value of the country, which is USA. And state, there is only one state at this point in time in the data, which is California. <clears throat> with obviously some null values. It doesn't make sense because just one country and state is not going to help me, uh, you know, in the model. So we will see how in the in the videos or series to come, we are going to get rid of this, you know, non-effective uh, 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 models for machine learning. We'll see that. So let's let's get started. So this was the data which we got from here the canvas for machine learning experiment. Next is we are going to find out or search. You can search for mean missing data. And you can see it's in data transformation, manipulation, and mean missing data. If you want to just search it, you can, or else you can go here, manipulation, and clean missing data. Either way is fine. Drag and drop and connect this. So this, these are connectors. It's like input output. This is an input. So it just has one output port. Then this is having an input and then two output ports. First output port is clean data set. And this is cleaning transformation. So don't worry about it. We'll work on output port one from here. Click on this and it'll go to the properties. You can right click also, or you can just click and on the right side, it'll show you the properties. Here in the column selector, you can select the columns by name or with rules. For now, I have selected all the columns 
to get rid of missing values. If there is a single column with the missing value, we will apply a cleaning mode, replace the entire row. So if there is a missing value in any of the columns, it's going to remove the entire row. We don't want it. The, the machine learning model won't be effective with any missing or null of the holes in the data. Now, let's run the experiment. Right click and say run. And tick mark suggests that it's finished running. Right click and again, you can visualize the clean data set. You can see that the rows have come down from 304 to 287 in this clean missing data set. And now you would see there are no missing values. Income, no missing values, which is good. This data is now good for our analysis. Now let's take a step, step back. My monthly spend is not going to be affected by customer ID. Customer ID is just an identifier for a customer. But from a machine learning algorithm perspective, it's not going to affect the model. So I'm going to get rid of it. I'm not going to consider customer ID in the model at all. Gender. Yeah, it depends. We want to understand the buying or predict or machine learn the buying patterns based on gender, job type, income, yep. Let's talk about country and state, which is only one value. This store is apparently only in California, US, and that is why these have one single value. Age, marital status, and let's not consider for this experiment the education loan and the auto loan so repeat i'm going to get rid of customer id country state and loan loan flag for monthly spend analysis even though it, it affects but just for the simplicity sake we're going to get rid of these columns as well so now we are Cleaning up the columns, that means selecting the columns. So search for columns, and you would see select columns in data set. So the output of clean missing data be connected to the input of select columns in the data set. Now click on select columns on the data set on the far right properties. Select the columns which are required. So I can select all the columns which are required on the right side. Let's use with rules. So it says begin with all columns. That means start with all columns and I then exclude. So enter the column name. I want to exclude customer ID, state, country, and education loan and auto loan so customer id states country education loan and auto loan flags i'm going to exclude and again i'm going to run to make sure i'm good so this experiment is run let's view the data you can see how at each stage I can view the data and visualize the data. Remember, we changed the column. The number of rows would be 287. The columns came down from 18, sorry, 13 to 8. We omitted five columns. And this is a cleaned data set ready for machine analysis. Let's, let's do some machine learning algorithms in the next video. Thank you for watching.